you Queen Track, YouTube fam, Coach Rod. Um back on with a video for the day. Um I ran a little a little late for my video. Um, you know, because um, I, I I guess I got some rest today. I didn't I got up I've been up since four in the morning, so you know, I pretty much rested up today. Finna get ready to go to work later on tonight. But before I go to work, I just want to come on and talk about um, signs you're dealing with a a feminine a feminine man, a feminized man. Signs you are dealing with a feminized man. And um, back to the video I was talking about the other day about gender roles. And, you know, I'm just an old school traditional kind of dude because, you know, that's the era, the era that I grew up in. You know, I grew up in late 70s, early 80s and 90s. Those, those was the years that I experienced my childhood. And, you know, I remember that things was different when I was in school. Um, when I was in school, if you wanted a girlfriend, you had to go talk to her. Um, it, it was very rare, it was very rare that, that a, um, a girl would approach a boy back then. Girls didn't do that back then. Mostly, I mean, you, you would hardly ever find that, you know, it, it you know, it's probably, Happened, but it wasn't like how it is now. It, it was like a disgrace. It was a, an embarrassment for a girl to approach a boy back then in my era. Um, women didn't chase men. Women didn't chase boy back then. Um, I, there might have been some obsession. Now, 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 if if you were to start a football team. If you the star of the football team, then yeah, you the handsome, tall quarterback, and you the star of the football team, running back or whatever. That's an exception. But if if you were if you was a normal boy, if you was a normal boy, a regular boy, you know, um, girls back then didn't chase chase boys. They didn't do that. If, if you wanted to. If you wanted a um, a girlfriend, you had to go to her. They're not gonna come to you. You know, I I remember this year. I remember this year, and I'm gonna tell you straightforward. Looking back on it, I I never had my childhood days. I never had a girl approach me. I I I, I can't remember a time when a girl approached me. And see, you know what I'm saying? And see, that's when, that's when marriages was more, um, was more popular back then. Because we did it the way God always set it up. In my last video, I talked about how, you know, how men pursued women back in the days. And a lot of people from this generation would look at that and say, well, the times have changed. We not up under that no more. And that's the old testament and all that here. This twenty twenty, I get that. But I, I don't care. I don't care what what year it is. God never intended for men to to switch the roles. God has established for a man to pursue a woman. When God created a man, when God created a man, he wired men to pursue women. He wired men to chase women. Men was wired to pursue and chase. When he made a man, he wired them to do the pursuing and the hunting. When he created a woman, he did not create her to pursue. He created her fearfully and wonderfully. He gave her her shapes, her curves, and 
He made it so when a man sees her, he wants to chase and pursue. And I showed y'all that about Jacob and Rachel. Jacob pursued Rachel by working for her. By working for her, he, he, he saw Rachel. He saw how gorgeous she was. And the Bible made it known that she was beautiful and she had a nice figure. And Jacob was in love with her. And Jacob pursued her. That is how God wired men. That is how God wired men to pursue a woman based upon physical, physical attraction. Now, I, I want to break this down now. Because I talk about... I talk about this a lot, like men get turned on by what they see and stuff like that. I don't want women to think that all men see them as is, you know, a, a, a sex object or stuff like that. I don't want women to, to think that, you know, all this all, is all about lust and all this here. So I, I, let me explain this part right here to y'all. Your out of your out of appearance is what's gonna get that man attention. It's what's gonna get him to catch feelings. It's not really, it's not really falling in love with you, but he's gonna catch feelings. He's gonna catch feelings, and like I was saying, it goes back to even when a, a little young boy in kindergarten, a little young boy in kindergarten, he have feelings for his little kindergarten look um uh, little friend girl. I mean, he don't know nothing about her personality. Uh, he know that she's a different, different. She's a she's a girl, and she's she's pretty. He, he got enough sense to know that she she's pretty. So I won't say that you know uh, a little y'all kindergarten be in love. It's, it's just like a little crush. It's it's like a little crush in. It's, it's somewhat, deal, you know, deal with um, lust, you know, because you, if you look up love in a dictionary, one word for love is a, a, a strong, affectual feeling for a, another, you know, so um, it, it could be, you know, you, you call it, you can call it lust. You see what I'm saying? But. That's what's going to get a man attention. You see what I'm saying? You can't... You can't... You can't say that I want a man... I, 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 you know, to pursue me based upon my personality because he don't know your personality. When he first see you, he doesn't know your personality. You see what I'm saying? He doesn't know you're a good woman yet. So, you know, he going to pursue you Based upon your physical attraction. Based upon your physical attraction. If you are his cup of tea, he's going to pursue you. But he will fall in love with you when he gets to know you. And he, when he gets to know your personality. And he, when he sees that you're a good woman, a woman for him. The conversation. Uh, when you respect yourself. When you love yourself. Stuff like that. Um. He's, that's when he's going to fall in love. Fall in love with you. But it's going to be your outer pain that will going to get his attention. And that's how God God always wired men to chase after attractive women. And uh, I remember I remember when I was a teenager, when I was in high school and me and my me and my homeboy, we used to love going to the mall and chase women. We used to love doing that. Like on a Friday, like, 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 like every time we have a Friday where we ain't got no school, like we got a four a four day school week and Friday we ain't got no school, we would catch the bus to the mall and chase attractive girls. You see what I'm saying? We we was in competition. Who can get the most phone numbers? And we would literally chase, we would literally chase, run behind, we ran behind attractive girls. We saw a girl that looked attractive to us in the mall. If we could be on the, reason why I say ran behind, we could be on the other side of the store. We could be in J.C. Penney somewhere in the mall. We on the other side of the store. We see attractive girls at the mall. We running behind them. To catch up with us so they won't get away. 
And then we were like, hey, girl, how you doing? Hey, girl, let me get you a number. You look fine, girl. See what I'm saying? We was, you was teenagers. We was immature. We, you know what I'm saying? But it was even as a teenager, we chased. We love to chase girls. And and we we would like to see who get the most phone numbers. We like to see who get the most phone numbers. And there have been times where I might get two numbers. My friend might get only one number. And the one who win, oh, you know, we brag. Yeah, I got one number. You know, there been times we go to the mall and ne neither one of us get no number. A lot of girls, we got rejected a lot of times. We didn't always get numbers. It was hard to get a number, you know. Um, young girls didn't, 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 didn't really give us numbers that much. But we, we, we didn't even feel bad when we got rejected. It was so fun to us. You know what I'm saying? When we saw a uh, attractive woman, you know, our adrenaline, uh, not a woman, but we could say women too, but we was just really trying to get girls though. But we was, we was running, we were lusting out the women too. <laughs> you know, anybody that was attractive, we were like, oh man, ooh. You know, the the, the adrenaline didn't go to um, pump in our body, We go, to, you know what I'm saying? And we'll go to, to a girl at the mall, hey girl, how you doing? You so fine. Can I get your number? And, you know, most majority of the girls didn't give us their number. But we didn't even care about being rejected. We just loved the chase. We loved the hunt. We was like lions. We was like lions. And them girls didn't know where we came from. We watching them wait on the other side of the store. And we'll just pop up. In a, and that part of why we didn't get out of them because we scared the girls. You know, <laughs> we, we come up behind them, walking all fast, running. Breathing all hard. Hey, girl, you so funny with you. So I guess because we came out sort of desperate, a lot of girls were like, nah, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? But we didn't even care about being rejected because that's what masculine men do. You see what I'm saying? That's what masculine energy, masculine energy is. That's what masculinity is. Pursuing and chasing women. You see what I'm saying? We, we, love, we, we loved it that. You know, and a lot of times we didn't we didn't even call them girls. We just wanted to get their number to see it was a game. It was a game to us. It was a game to us. Now, if you're a girl, if you're a woman, and you and you say, "Well, women feel the same way, or women do the same thing. Women ran behind men and try to get them." If you say that, that's the problem right there. That's the problem with a lot of females. That's the problem with a lot of queens. They are queens, but they are broken queens. They are unconscious queens. Because I, I, I read a comment. I read a comment the other night on my video. Hit on the comment. I, I was chasing a Middle Eastern man. <clears throat> See what I'm saying? This is why men are feminized. Because women are chasing men. This is why men are feminized, because women are chasing men. Whenever a bunch of women chase men, they become spoiled, and you take his ability to hunt. This is why men don't like to hunt in this, in this generation. See what I'm saying? That's what's going on. Masculinity is about chasing and hunting. We love we loved it. Getting numbers. You see what I'm saying? It was part of who we was as as little boys. And all we thought about as a teenager, me, me and my homeboy, me and my friend, is going to the mall to look at and, and, and chase girls. That's all we thought about. That's all we thought about. We weren't going to the mall to shop. We wanted to go for the girls. That's the immaturity of, of 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 males, so when I be telling y'all about nature, men are immature, and some people want to disagree. Some women want to disagree, like they got a prostate. They want to come in the comment, "Oh, man, not immature." I'm telling you, I'm I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a man. I was an immature boy who sit, and you got some men right now today still do the same thing in competition. Grown men my age, grown men my age and or older still do the same thing in competition. You can't tell me that that's not immaturity. But I be saying, like, by nature, men are immature. 
Some women want to come in the comment, oh, that's not true. Men not not immature. You're not a man. You don't have a prostate. You you can't you, you can't tell a man about another man. I know I know a man because I'm one. I'm one. That's the immature nature of, of, of men. The only reason why I don't chase women no more and seek with my friend and see who can get the most number because I have developed character. And to a man develops character, he's going to be a little immature when you compare him to a woman. He's going to be immature when you compare him to a woman unless that man develops character. Because I have developed character, I don't sit here with my friends and try to get uh, numbers. Because I understand that my manhood is not about me getting numbers. My manhood is about me treating a woman with respect by me providing and protecting for 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 the, for the female species. Oh, I say female for the for the um for the um girl species, the women species. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's what that's that's what a masculine man. See, that's what I'm trying to get y'all to see. That that that's what a masculine man a masculine man he understand that he understand his role. He understand his role. He, he understand his role is to hunt, pursue, and chase. And he loved to hunt. He loved to pursue. He loved to chase. But now you got women with the same masculinity. Based, based upon that comment, based upon that comment. I was chasing a Middle Eastern man. But you want a husband, though. You want a masculine husband, but you chasing, you chasing, you chasing men. How you going to see this? That's the problem right there. Women who chase men are part of the problem. Why men are feminine. Women who chase men. Masculine women who chase men are, the, are part of the problem why a lot of y'all ain't getting married. You can't chase a man. You can't spoil a man. When you spoil a man, when you when a male species is spoiled, you take his ability away to hunt. This is why men don't like to hunt no more. And this is why that's the reason why a lot of you ladies are not getting married. You're not getting married because this other stuff they're telling y'all is you are not valuable. You're uh, you're not wanted if you're not married. Don't believe that the, the, the ignorance, the stupid foolishness that the society trying to put in your head. You're not wanted if you're not married. It's not that. If you are a woman who got self-respect, if you are a woman who practicing abstinence, or you're a woman who don't want to rush to get a man, give a man your body. It's in, in this generation, it's going to be hard for you to get married. If you're a woman who's not going to chase a man, if you're a feminine woman, and you are not going to lower your, your, your standards and go run behind no man, it's going to be hard for you to attract a masculine man because a lot of men in this generation are feminized. So don't believe that dumb, stupid stuff that they trying to tell y'all that you ain't got a man, something wrong with you. Ain't nothing wrong with you. You don't have a man because you refuse to settle. You don't have a man because you refuse to chase a man. You refuse to pursue a man. And when you have that mindset in 2020, men see you as stuck up. I ain't going to say men. Boys see you as stuck up. A lot of boys, feminine boys, Want you to pursue them. You see what I'm saying? This is what's going on in society. It, it had nothing to do. It had nothing to do with you are not attractive. Men don't want you. You ain't valuable. You are valuable. It's not you. It's the culture that we live in. And that's why I don't tell women how to get a man. And sometimes women want me to tell them how to get a man. I, I I don't tell women how to get no man. Because I don't believe in women trying to get a man. That's the problem we have in society right now. Society has taught women for the for the longest how to get a man. And like I showed y'all yesterday, uh, I think that was yesterday. 
Back in the days, all a woman had to do, even in biblical time, all a woman had to do was just come outside. She got a husband. She had to do nothing. Women ain't never had to do nothing to get no man back in the days. All a woman had to do was just come outside and look pretty. All Rachel had to do is just come outside and, 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 and look pretty, minding her own business. She wasn't running behind no man. She wasn't thinking about no man. She just came outside and she was minding her own business and, uh, and the man ran behind her. Men work for her. Why? Because those was masculine men. Jacob was a masculine man. Jacob didn't go up to Rachel and, 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 and gave Rachel his phone number back then. They had a phone. Just trying to be funny, though. Just trying to be funny. Gave Rachel his phone number. Call me. Whenever a man, watch this. Signs, here he go. Signs, you, you dealing with a feminist man, a feminized man. Whenever a man come to you and tell you, he, he get my number, call me. He's a feminine boy. He's not even a man. He's a feminized boy. Do not take his number. Tell, tell him, see, this is what a queen will do. A queen won't even take his number. No, thank you. I'm good. No, I'm 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 not even dating right now. I'm focused on my career, my business, whatever. Uh, no distractions. Thank you, though. No, go ahead and take my number. No, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. I mean, I would love to do that, but right now I'm just not in that space. Come up with something. Make up something. Don't don't never take no man number. When a man give you his number, say call him. He is a feminized boy. You understand me? Whenever a man give you his number, he feminized. Do not take a man number. He's supposed to ask you for your number so he can call you. Whenever a man give you his number. He's feminized. I, you know, I'm not saying he go the other way. But he doesn't know his role. When I say feminized, that means they don't know their role as a man. They don't know their identity as a man. They don't know they was wired to hunt. And society, what society did was reprogram men's mind by influencing men, telling men, if you pursue women, you are a simp. If you treat women like queen, you are a simp. If you pay for dates, you are a simp. If you value women, you are a simp. This is why men are the way they are. It has nothing to do with the value of a woman. Women have never lost their value. It is society have made men punks. Society made men soft. Society telling men you are a simp if you pursue a woman. Society are telling men that if you take women out on a date, they got the pay they have. If you pay for a woman on a date, if you open up the car door for a woman, see what society done to men? Society has took the masculinity from men. That is why you are not getting married. I, I saw that prophet on Facebook live. She telling women, the reason why, you, you know the reason why y'all not getting married? Here she go. You know the reason why y'all single? Because other women praying against y'all that y'all don't get no husband. That is the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. That ain't got nothing to do with why women are, are, are not getting married. Prophet though. Prophetess. 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 In the, she, 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 she in the flesh. She in the flesh. She in the flesh. That's, that, that's not why women are getting married. If you are a Christian woman, if you are a child of God, can't nobody pray against you to not to get married. Can I pray against you to not get married? Because the Bible says if God be for us, who could be against us? Come on now. Can't nobody pray against you that you can't get married. The reason why a lot of queens are not getting married is because men are a, a, a lot of a lot of a lot of men, not all men, not all men, but a lot of men are feminized. They want you to chase and pursue them. Whenever a man signs you dealing with a feminine man, whenever a man open up his mouth and say, Men are the prize, he feminized. That is a feminized boy. So during the talking stage, if you're on the phone with a man and he opens his mouth and say, uh, men are the prize, though. Men are the prize. He feminized. That's the sign right there. These are early warning signs. Early warning signs, you dealing with a feminized boy. 
That's what I'm gonna name the topic. That's the topic right there. Early warning signs you dealing with a feminized boy. Whenever a, a, a man says he's a prize, he is a feminized boy. Because women have always been the prize from the beginning. That's why they was chased because they was the prize. Men knew I got to get my prize. Men knew I got to get my, my favor. You see what I'm saying? And that's how fearfully and wonderfully made a woman a woman was made, was created to be fear, fearfully and wonderfully. That means you are so beautiful, you are so gorgeous to a man. When he see you, he coming after you. He already know, I want that. And because of your character and your personality and your respect for yourself, that's what's going to get him to fall in love with you. But to get him to pursue and chase you is going to be your physical appearance. You see what I'm saying? But men have lost their ability to chase and be masculine because women are doing the chasing and the pursuing because society has broken the consciousness of women. And like my man R.C. say, a lot of women are suffering from a female slave condition. And that's why when I say something that a woman should not do in dating, and another woman say, well, don't men do it, that, 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 that's right there. That let me know right there. A, win, a lot of women feel like we can do what men do when it comes down to dating and relationship. Stay in your role. Stay in your lane, baby. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane, sis. Know your role. Know your role as a woman. Your role is not to run behind no man. You can't be like a man when it comes down to dating. And then expect God to send you a husband. It ain't going to work like that right now. So, these are some signs you're dealing with a feminized boy. Whenever a man give you his number, He's a feminized boy. Whenever a man say women are not the prize, he's a feminized boy. Whenever a man say women are not queens, why y'all call yourself a queen? See, a lot of my clients tell me this, this is what men tell them. Y'all ain't no queen. Y'all ain't no queen. Whenever a man say women are not queen, queen not in the Bible. Ignorant. Yes, it is. There's queens all over the Bible. Ignorant. Where y'all get queen from? Queen not even in the Bible. I'm a Christian man. I saw this. I saw this comment one time. I'm a Christian man. I'm a God fearing man. And and but y'all call women queen. Queen not even in the Bible. You so ignorant. Queens all over the Bible. Queens all over the Bible. But you got men would tell women. I have had clients and men tell them that y'all are not queens. Y'all don't rule no kingdom. What y'all over? Why y'all call yourself queen for? When a man says that. You are dealing with a feminized boy. Get out the phone with him. Don't go in the father. You hear me? Another sign you're dealing with a feminized boy is when a man refuses to lead and take the initiative. Whenever he waiting on you to do something. That's a feminized boy. What I mean by that? Back to what I was saying. About if a man come to your place and he see that something in your and, and y'all dating and whatever he put to be into you, he talking about he want to marry you, you all this, all that good stuff. He come to your place and this man see that something is broken, something is, need to be fixed. If he don't lead and take the initiative and jump on it, you got your feminine boy because he waiting on you to do it. See, whenever a man don't take the initiative to do something, it's because he figure. Well, this is not my house. This is not my house. This is her house. And I, she can do it herself. You see what I'm saying? But a masculine man, he wants to do stuff for you. He wants to impress you. Because he realizes my, my manhood is about me impressing women. It's about me showing a woman that I, I can provide and protect. That's what masculine men feel like that's what it feels like to be a masculine man he wants to provide for you he want to do things for you you see what i'm saying I, i'm so masculine i'm so masculine and i have so much respect for 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 for, for women i ain't gotta be i ain't gotta be in an exclusive relationship with a woman if we were just talking on the phone, 
I could just meet a woman within two weeks, just only know her for two weeks. And if that woman called me and said, Roderick, um, I know we're not together right now. I know you're not my man, but I need a favor. Um, what's going on? Right now, I'm on the side of the road on I-95, and uh, I got a flat tire. Um, can you come and help me out? You know I change the flat tire? Sure, I'm, I'm right there. She's not my girlfriend. We're not exclusive, but because she's a woman. Because she's a woman, and I'm a masculine man. Masculine men like to just do things for, for women, period. And if we never, ever be together... If 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 things don't work out between me and her, that's not a problem with me. But because I value women, I will go and help her and change her attire. Even though she's not my girlfriend. Even though we're not exclusive. And whenever a man, another sign you didn't win a feminine boy. Whenever a man tells you, you can do it yourself. Whenever you need a man to do something for you, whenever you need a man to do something for you, and this man tells you you can do it yourself, you are dealing with a feminized boy. Get out the relationship. You are going to catch hell with that man, with that boy. When you need a man to do something for you, he should never tell you you can do it yourself. You're dealing with a feminized boy. Because a real man, a real, real, real man, a masculine man, we ain't, a lot of times we ain't going to have to ask. We ain't going to have to ask. You hear me? We ain't going to have to ask. We dealing with a real masculine man. We ain't going to have to ask. See, these are some signs. These are some signs you dealing with a feminine boy. Whenever a man wants up to you, give you his number, he feminized. Whenever a man say he the prize, he feminized. Whenever a man don't like to fix things around your house, he feminized. Whenever a man tells you to do it yourself, he is feminized. He waiting on you to do it. These are the things that I'm getting in coaching session. These are the things that I deal with in coaching session. Whenever a man let a woman carry an air condition, a wall unit air condition. Whenever a man let a woman carry a wall unit, a uh, window air condition, window unit air condition up the stairs to her apartment, he is a feminine boy. And that is a disgrace for a man to sit on his behind and tell a woman, carry the air condition upstairs. I'm telling y'all what I know. I'm in the trenches. This is what's, this, this is what's going on with some of these men. And you're going to let that man lay up with you? And he can't even carry an act for you. <laughs> that should be the last. That should be that's a deal breaker to me. If I was a woman, that should be a deal breaker, a deal breaker, deal breaker, deal breaker. Period. That's a that's a feminine boy. I'm telling you now, and that's why I be telling my my, my queens in court session, sis. I know a real man. It's your it's your it's your decision. You hang enough you want to. But if you continue with this relationship, you're going to catch hell. I ain't telling you what to do. But I'm telling you what I know. That is not a man. And a lot of times they want to stay. But I, I'm, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Donald to all the women that, that reach out for coaching. I'm telling you what I know. I know a man when I see one. Whenever a man drive your car every day. Whenever a man drive your car, you let the man hold your car to go to work. And this man drive your car every day. He see your oil light on. He see the service light on. And you got to tell that man to go get the car service. You got to tell that man to go get the car service. And then when you tell this man, hey, as a woman, you, you like in your head like, don't he see the light on? He see the light on? As a woman, you like, well, man, why he ain't taking the car to get a servant? Get the oil chain. And you he, he going for a whole two or three months. And then you like, hey, my 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 light on in my car. Um, why you ain't taking go get a service? Get the oil chain. Oh, why you ain't he gonna respond to to some boys. Not me and boys. Oh, you can go good, you can go do it and get a chain. 
Don't marry no man like don't marry no man like that right there. That's it right there. Don't marry no man like that right there. You gotta cut that off. Whenever a man refuses to take your car, that you are letting him hold. He don't even have a car. You let this man hold your car, and he cannot take your car and get it serviced. You are dealing with a feminized boy. He got to grow up. He got to grow up. And when I when I hear stuff like that in coaching session, I said, sis, you got to go. I said, it's up to you. I'm not telling you what to do. But that that's not going to work. I'm telling you that right now. You're going to catch hell with that right there. That, you ain't got no real man, sir. You got your little clown. I tell him in their face, that's a clown in the crown, baby. That's a clown. That is a clown. Clown, clown, clown. You got your clown. These are some signs you're dealing with a feminized boy. Whenever a man does not want to go to work, whenever a man cannot go to work and hold down a job, he is a feminized boy. And whenever a man got an excuse why he does not have a job, don't mess with the man. Do not mess with a man who does not have a job. I don't care what his excuse is. If he's not handicapped, if he's not disability, disabled, he's supposed to have a job. And there's something about a man in 2020, they get offended when the woman said she want a man that's a hardworking man. A lot of men, a lot of boys, not men, a lot of boys get offended in 2020 when a woman say she wants a hardworking man. When a woman say I want to feel financially secure, these, these boys in 2020 get offended. They get mad. They get mad. Because a woman says she wants a man that got a job. They get mad. And you have some women who sit right there and accept a man excuse why he don't have a job. I'm a felon. Nobody don't want to hire me. I'm telling y'all, I saw this here. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. And here come the woman. <laughs> Take enough fun. He a felon and nobody don't want to hire him. And you going to marry this man? And you going to make this man your head? And he can't get no job. You gonna marry this man? Lord Hammers. He can't a felon can get a job. He may not can't get no a good job, but he can get a job. Cause you got lawn service trucks that you can go and get on back of that lawn truck. And they don't do background. Some lawn service do. Like the big, you know, professional one. But you got moms and pop. You got moms and pop lawn service. We'll pay you cash up on the table. All you got to do is go out there and rake up, rake up leaves. And put them in, double them back of the truck. And push the lawn mow. If, if, he, if he know how to push the lawn mow. He, he, he got a job. He got a job. He just don't want to get no job, sis. And y'all, we right here falling for the crap. He, he a felon and, and nobody don't want to hire him. Reason why he don't want to work, because he feminized, sis. He feminized. He feminized. You can't tell me he can't get no job. I know some felons right now got their own 18-wheeler. They own their own 18-wheelers. You can't tell me a felon can't get no job. You can get a job in, 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 in trucking. Some companies will hire you as a felon in trucking. Some companies will hire you as a felon in, in trucking. Maybe not a lot of companies, but some companies, there are some companies hire felonies, will teach you how to drive a truck. You ain't got to have no money down. They, they will sponsor you to go to a trucking school, and then when you get your CDLs, you sign a contract that you're going to stay with them for a year. That way, you ain't got to pay them back if you stay with them for a year. If you leave, they're going to come out to you for their money. But you stay with them for a year. Now you got your CDLs. Now you know how to drive an 18-wheeler. And every man can learn how to drive an 18-wheeler. As long as he ain't got no disability. As long as he ain't slow. Every regular man can drive an 18-wheeler. If a woman, if a female can drive an 18-wheeler, a man can learn how to drive an 18-wheeler. You can own your own 18-wheeler truck 
as a felon and make money. There is no excuse for a man to not have a job. Do not support a man. When you when you when you sit here and support a man, you are being masculine. You are the problem why a lot of queens are not getting married. Cause you up and talking about he ain't got no he ain't got no job and you're gonna support this man. Women who are masculinized, you are proud of y'all ain't gonna like this part right here. Women who are masculinized, women who are masculine, women who chase men, women who hold men down, women who do those things who are masculine, you are part of the problem. You the reason why a lot of queens are not getting married. Because whenever you chase a man, whenever you hold a man down financially, you are spoiling that man. And he going to expect every woman to take care of him. He got to have a job. And that's what I tell y'all. And that's what I wrote in my book. He got to have a job and he got to be stable. He got to be on a job for X amount of years. A masculine man going to keep a job. You know what I say? A masculine man is going to keep a job because his manhood, his manhood is all about, is wrapped up in his ability to provide and work. Masculine men love to work. Masculine men love to take care of their family and their woman. So whenever you with a man and he ain't got no job, whatever excuse he got, if he not, if he able body, if he's not disabled, if he's not disabled, but if he's an able body man, he don't have no job. He he a feminized boy. He a feminized boy. These are some signs that you are dealing with a feminized boy. This is why society all the way it is up. This is why a lot of queens are not getting married. We got a world full of feminine boys. Whenever y'all wanna know who was feminized, that 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 who little feminized boy, that man who got that movement on YouTube, who called good men like myself simps. And whenever a man called another man simp, he feminized. And you got the feminine boy on YouTube. To my alpha male and all that here with that pill stuff. Feminized. Feminized. And they influencing men to dog women out. Don't get married. Marriage is for simps. You see what I'm trying to tell y'all? These are some signs you're dealing with a feminine boy. So as a woman, you gotta you gotta keep your head up and say, you know what, I'm not gonna settle. I'm not gonna settle. Cause you better off single than to be with a feminine boy. Another sign, I forgot about this one. You dealing with a feminine boy is when he want you to compliment him more than he compliment you. Listen to me now. My job as a coach is to teach all about men. When a man is in love with you, when a man think that you are beautiful to him. He, he, he gonna give you more compliments than you give him. He gonna tell you, baby, you are so pretty. He gonna look at you and be like, oh my God. In his head, he like, that girl there. Yeah. And then he gonna express himself to you. Baby, you you so pretty, baby. And whenever man wants you to compliment him more than you, he compliment you, he a feminine eye boy. He a feminine eye boy. And let me tell you something about y'all injured elbow type. Y'all tall, dark skin, injured elbow type men. <laughs> Not all of them. Not all of them. But majority of them are feminized. They want you to chase them because they look good. I got swag. Chase me. Chase me. I'm the prize. I got swag. I'm cool. He walking with a little limp. Got his outfit on. Clean shoes on. Yeah, I'm on. He wants you to chase him, girl. But that, but but that's what y'all want, though. That's what y'all are attracted to. A man who wants you to chase them. Again, not all of them, but majority of the men. The tall, dark-skinned men. The pretty, pretty, handsome dude. Clean pair of shoes. Always clean. Yeah. Feminized. 
Give me that. The same woman I saw on Facebook Live. <laughs> same prophet. Say she was talking to this, to this handsome dude. She made it known. He tall, dark skinned, dressed very good. She said he was very, 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 very handsome. He had swag. He said he the inches elbow tight. And she was talking to the dude. She was into him. This what, this what I'm trying to tell y'all about the little, the little dude y'all like with the swag stuff. She kept saying how much the swag he had. She kept bragging on how good he looked, right? On her, on her Facebook Live, right? But look what he did, though. She said, I don't understand why he would do this, though. Like, I'm trying to figure out, like, why he would do this. He came after me first, but then he stopped. He stopped. He stopped pursuing. You know why? He wants you to run behind him. He is a pretty boy. He is a pretty feminized boy. And then the little boy goes on her sister. And he know that was her sister. Go on her sister page in her face and like all her sister pictures on Instagram. Red right on her face. Like hitting the like button. She's still entertaining that boy. This is why I be telling y'all about these little, little feminine boys y'all like. The little pretty boy. The tall, dark skinned, handsome, very, very attractive dude. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all about that right there. And then he, he, he'll he say, I'm going to take you out on Friday. Friday come, no call, no show. You see the narcissist games that is? The manipulation he's trying to do to her? And then he'll call her a couple of days later like ain't nothing happened. And she's sitting there and allow this man to do her like that three times because he's a handsome. This is what I be telling y'all about women give handsome men passes. They let handsome men get away with a lot of stuff. This is why I be telling y'all. Three times this man did her like that before she finally let this man go. She should have let this man go when he started like a whole sister picture. And they probably been talking. Even though they're not official. But come on. You know that's your... The girl I'm talking to, if I know she got a sister, if, I'm, if, I, if I follow her on Instagram, I'm not going to like a whole sister... If I'm, if I'm interested in her, why would I like a whole sister pictures? A real man don't do that if he really interested in you. Even if y'all not exclusive. But see the game, the track of narcissist men play... See the nonsense the game they play? You see what I'm saying? Do what y'all got to realize. Just feminize. Why he did all that? He want her to pursue him. He very handsome. He got swag. He got swag. But the majority of those men, not all of them, the majority of those men are feminized and they want you to pursue them and they want you to tell them that they handsome more than they're going to give you coming, man. That's what y'all don't understand. Because they so used to women. Oh, my God. God can after them. They used to that. They used to that. And like I said, on, on Instagram, this, this handsome man on Instagram, and you got hundreds of women in the comment, check your DM. He is so feminized. They don't even know it. He's so feminized, but he handsome though. But he feminized. He liked to see. That's why he posts pictures almost every day. Whenever you got a man just like to post pictures on Facebook, on Instagram, and in Facebook, feminine, 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 feminine. I talk about the handsome one because they like they like women to get on that in the comment. And oh my God, you so fine. You so oh my God. Oh check your DM, check your inbox. They like that. That's why they keep posting their pictures on there. Just to get the women and, 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 and women fall for it. And them same women who running behind that man got their nerve to me. Ain't no good men out here. We all a good man at. I want me a masculine man. Where the man at? You're never going to attract that man because you're too masculine. Masculine don't like masculine. A real masculine man does not like women that chase him. You're going to turn the man off. Hey, man, this Coach Rod, man, I got to get out of here. It's been 49 minutes. I don't, like, I don't like to be too long. I don't like to be too long. 49 minutes. I got I to gotta cut this off. But, hey, man, God bless y'all, man. The link going to be in the description box for my book. Go ahead and purchase that book. A lot of stuff that I'm talking about is in that book. 
Um, to the ones who already purchased it, I, I appreciate y'all. I thank God for y'all. I really do. Uh, for sowing into my, my life by purchasing my book, I really appreciate y'all. And for the one who haven't, I appreciate y'all too. For the one who didn't purchase it, for the one who never gonna buy it, I love y'all too. Okay? I love all y'all. Y'all be careful. Be safe. And I already keep the good Lord with you. And we'll talk soon.